Hi, I'm Eric Arnold. I'm with the Wildlife Control Training Group. Today I'm going to show you how to make a muskrat colony trap. For those not familiar with the muskrat colony trap, they're not legal in every state. You can purchase them from a trapping supply company, but they're very simple to make. Let me show you how. To start with, we're going to need wire cutters, and we're also going to need some wire. Now the wire that I like to use is the 1x2 wire. I got this at a tractor supply company. It's, I believe, 23 gauge. You don't need super heavy wire for muskrats. Anything 16 gauge up to 24 gauge, you should be fine with it. You can buy the wire in different sizes. Now this happens to be a 24 inch piece because it came off of a 24 inch roll, but you can also find it in 30 inch rolls and 36 inch rolls. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my trap with five inch sides. So I've got four sides at five inches, so that's 20 inches. So what I have in front of me is a 20 by 24 inch piece of one by two wire. Okay, we're also gonna need to have doors in order to keep our muskrats inside of the colony trap. Now you can see that the doors are, are gonna be much smaller, but they're cut from the same material. So you don't need to buy any separate wire or anything. The doors themselves are going to be four inches across, and in my case, I've got six inches here, three of the two inch holes, because this is for, like I said, the five by five trap. If you were making a six by six trap, you would need to go five inches across up on top, and if you're using the one by two, then it's gonna be eight inches long. So based upon the size of the trap that you have, you may need to cut bigger doors. Now once we have everything all bent and ready to put together, we need some way to fasten it. And there's two different ways that you can do this. First thing you can do is have a tool like this. This is a Stanley Ringer. It has D-rings on it. It makes a very, very tight seal. I really don't recommend doing this for the muskrat colony traps. Uh, I think it just makes things a little too tight specifically with the door. What I prefer to use are J-clips. J-clips and a J-clip tool they're very commonly found, once again, with these farm tractor stores. A lot of times they're called rabbit cage clips. You can see it's just a piece of aluminum that's bent into a J. These do a really good job for the colony traps. So let's go ahead and bend everything so I can show you how to put it together. Okay, let's go ahead and bend that muskrat colony trap now. What I'm gonna be using is a three foot metal break that I got at TSC. It's about $200 or so. You don't need something like this to go ahead and make these traps with. You could go ahead and take a two by four, put the wire on the two by four, and then with the mallet, just pound it down to make your bends. Uh, but if you have something like this, it sure makes life a lot easier. I will say that if you have an aluminum brake, which is what they use for vinyl siding, uh, for doing um, your soffit areas, your uh, rake edges, that type of thing, with fascia trim, you don't want to use that with wire because wire will actually get into that break. It will make gouges and it will ruin it. So let me show you how to go ahead now and bend these colony traps. Okay, here's our wire that we've got for our colony trap. Now make sure that you've got the right direction going. We have 24 inches this way and 20 inches here. The other thing that we need to pay attention to is the wire ourselves. When we bend the wire, in this case, I'm gonna be bending up, and I wanna make sure that these long runs of wire are in the side or inside of my trap. The reason being is that if I have this going, you might actually get your door stuck on here where a muskrat cannot open it or it won't close properly. So try to make sure that you always have the inside part of your wire running uh, with you. So let's go ahead and slide it in. Now, how I like to do this is I like to go all the way through on this, and then I'll count out five inches. So there's one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inches. And then I'll hold that in place. Lock down my brake, and then I'm gonna bend that straight up. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but we've got a little bit of bend here in our wire. And at this point, I like to go ahead and I like to straighten it out. Uh, this is where definitely commercially, if I had a straightener, I could run it through since I don't. Uh, I just like to do it by hand this way. So there's our first bend. One, two, three, four, 
five. Here's going to be our second bend. And now the third bend. I normally work from the other side here, meaning this side, uh, but I'm trying not to obstruct camera views. So now when I bend this time, this on this design is actually going to catch here. So I'm going to lift up a little bit and help it over. pull out a little bit. Like I said, to go ahead and make that. Flush a little. Open up my brake. Slide it out. Now we've got this all bent. Let's go over and finish it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this up now. So, first thing we want to do is we want to close off um, our colony trap here. So all I'm doing again with the J hook, I come down, make sure it's through both, and close it off. The way I like to do this is I do one end, then I do the other end, and kind of hold in on it when you do it to make sure that you have that other piece of wire. Because at times, if it's too tight of a fit, um, you're going to go ahead and miss it, and then you have to put on another ring. That just becomes a pain. It doesn't fit properly. So at this point, you can decide, you can either go every other one, muskrats are not that strong, uh, so you can do that, or you can just go ahead and ring every single one of them, which is what I'm gonna do. Now at this point, let me tell you that they do make a different style ringer than this. Uh, they make one that's kind of has two parts on the bottom jaw with one part up on top. If you see this, this only has the two parts. Something like this that other ringer is really nice on um, because if you take a look at the rings, you'll see that these ones definitely have like a crimp section in the middle, whereas the other one really doesn't do that. It rings them more evenly. The problem is, is if you're using it on like half inch by half inch wire, you just can't get that tooling. You need the smaller one like this. Okay, so now we have our shape. Go ahead and make sure everything is all nice. Now what I like to do for the doors is I like to put this crimp edge always on the bottom. That way it's down in the mud, it's in the dirt, that type of thing. You don't have to worry about it. Take your door. Now on the door, again, just like when we bent the wire, we had an inside and an outside. Notice that here I have the wire that's towards me that the other wire is laying on top of. I want to take this piece of wire and I want to put it up against this piece of wire. So I slide that inside and this is how that door is going to work. And I'm, I'm going to put three fasteners in here. Reason I don't want to go like this with it is because of how this wire is, again, this can get stuck might not open up all the way on me, might not close. So I want to make sure that I have those in the right position when I do this. So we insert it. Now what I do is I position that door halfway in the middle. Okay, and then that gives me about a half inch on each side of this wire. And there I just missed one of them. Like I was saying earlier, don't do. There we go. Okay, but if you look, you can see that that gives me kind of like a nice guideline to go off of. That means that my door's not gonna get stuck on the side. It's not too far over. So I put those two in first, then I'll come up and I'll finish it off with one more in the center section, just to give it some strength. 
and I have had these fail over time. So you do need to check these once you're done. Flip it around, again, slide it in, make sure that we've got wire on wire. And you can also over crimp these doors, so be careful with that. Okay, now we've got everything fastened. I'm just gonna sit here, bounce my doors, make sure that they fall back, no problem. This is all ready to go. All it needs is an identification tag on it, and it can go out, catch some muskrats.